Hey, how y'all doing? I was out here looking around at the Christmas lights and uh, thought I would share it just a little bit with y'all and uh, let you know I am going to be back out here, but it's going to be on the uh, Texoma Road Trippers YouTube channel. So if that sounds interesting, be sure to be watching for that. <laughs> Something's been uh, weighing on my mind that I wanted to talk to y'all about. Uh, something kind of serious. So, y'all uh, hang loose for a minute and let me get to where I can sit down and talk. Kind of chilly out here right now. But we'll walk back over to the other side of the campus here and we'll talk for a minute. All right, well, there was getting to be quite a few people around, and I wanted to be where I could concentrate on this. Uh, I want to stop and share something with y'all today. Something that came into a uh, dream last night. I'm not sure if it uh, was something that I was meant to share or not. Uh, but I feel compelled to talk to y'all for just a minute about it. Sadly, it's a subject that some folks want to ignore, but it isn't something to take lightly. What am I talking about, you may be wondering? Well, here it is. It's teen suicide. Uh, I never personally have been involved with this issue, but I have seen a few of the signs in a teen or two. Luckily, nothing became of it. However, I wanted to share a few facts with y'all. Uh, if you're a parent or a, of a teen or a grandparent or just know a teen, maybe it's a friend or something, and uh, you notice some things that uh, may not be right, maybe this is for you. And uh, don't keep it to yourself, you know. Think about it. Uh, anyhow, did you know in 2017, nearly two teens an hour died from suicide? That, that's that's quite a bit, you know? Uh, and the rate is going up from everything that I've read and everything. Uh, teen suicide is the third leading cause of teen death, according to the CDC. Strangely enough, to me anyway, uh, males are four times more likely to commit suicide than females. And I say it's uh, strange to me because, let's face it, most teen girls have a little more drama in their life than the boys do. That, that's been my experience anyway. Uh, but maybe having that drama as an outlet and boys hold it in. I'm not real sure on that, but Four times more likely. That, that's a significant number. So anyhow, uh, take, take to notice uh, the teen in your life and their actions. A few things, that are a few signs that you could watch or talk, uh, teens talking about suicide or death in general, even in a jokingly way. Uh, they give hints that they might not be around anymore. Talk about their feelings, hopeless, feeling hopeless or feeling guilty. Pull away from friends or family. Write songs, poems, or letters about death, separation, and loss. And from my former experience, uh, they could also draw. You know, if they start drawing some questionable things, you might want to check into it. Uh, when they start giving away their treasured possessions to their friends and their siblings. Uh, lose any desire 
to take part in favorite things or activities. If they enjoyed, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, rollerblading or skateboarding or bicycling, and all of a sudden they're wanting to give their bicycle away and they just don't care nothing about it anymore. Yeah, yeah, it might be something to watch. And if they have trouble concentrating or thinking clearly, uh, experience changes in eating or sleeping habits, which some of that's going to change in the teenhood anyway. We all know that one. But, you know, if you're around a kid enough, you notice little things. Don't ignore them. Uh, they might engage in risk-taking behaviors. Might start, I don't know, jumping off houses or whatever and not really care whether they get hurt or not. And they lose interest in school and sports. Yeah, I've seen this one. Uh, other warning signs is making plans of efforts towards committing suicide. Things like uh, they may say, I want to kill myself or I'm going to commit suicide. And, you know, we've heard a lot of teens, they'll uh, get mad. I'm just going to kill myself. Nobody cares. Well... You can overlook some of that, but don't ignore it. Because it could get real serious real quick. So pay attention to your kids and the, the kids around you. Uh, and they might give verbal hints, I won't be a problem much longer. Or if anything happens to me, I want you to know. You know, that's an indication that something might happen. Uh, and like the other one said, uh, the other signs giving away their favorite things uh, bicycles skateboards I don't know Hot Wheels <laughs> I don't I'm not uh, uh, it's been a while since I've been a teenager and you know, if they start giving away their, their things that they really like you might, you might kind of watch that and uh they're generally depressed. And if all of a sudden they're depressed and nothing's changed and all of a sudden, bam, they're in a happy, good mood and everything, something major happened. It could be bad and it could be good. But don't ignore it. And uh, they might even actually practice writing a suicide note. Anyway, these, thing, these warning signs may seem like other health problems. Have your teen see his or her health care provider for a diagnosis. These are not the only signs, though, so don't chance a child's life regardless of their age. You know, I've heard of kids eight, seven, eight years old talking about suicide. And they don't even know what life is yet. Life is yet. They may know the life that they're living, and it may be a very bad one. It could be abusive. And abusive doesn't mean getting beat on. It could be being ignored, not paying attention to them, because they're going to seek that attention somewhere, in someone or something. And that's not always a good thing. So uh, pay attention. If you see a problem with your child or the kid around you, uh, don't hesitate. Call 1-800-273-8255. That's the suicide hotline. And they're available 24 hours. And they'll talk to you about the teen. Or if you're the teen, or even if you're an adult and thinking about suicide, this line is for everybody. So don't ignore it. Get some help. Or get somebody some help. Whatever the case may be. Uh... And th there's a lot of websites out there, so just Google teen suicide or suicide, and you're going to find a lot of them. That, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I had a little dream that was something like this, and I don't know, something just compelled me to talk about this. And it's really serious. And I, I did not realize that many teens have committed suicide. I read it was 5,000 and something boys in the year 2017 committed suicide and was successful. 
So it's not always going to be bad. If you're that teen, hang in there. Like I always say, keep on keeping on. Talk to your parents, grandparents. If you go to church, talk to your preacher or priest or whatever the case may be. Talk to your school counselor. And if you don't feel comfortable about doing that, call that number. That number again, 1-800-273-8255. And I don't mean to be bringing anybody down, but you know, I just wanted to talk to y'all about it for a minute. Don't ignore the kids. And kids, this is on y'all too. Don't ignore your friends or your parents. You know, just because we're older and grandparents or parents, whatever the case may be, aunts, uncles, doesn't mean that we don't get depressed and have thoughts that are not the right solution. So let's everybody watch out for everybody. Be there for one another. Okay. Sorry if that was a depressing subject, but it's a fact of life. You know, it's kind of different for me to be talking about that, especially all here on YouTube. I've talked to a lot of people about different situations, but on a one-on-one -on -one basis, not a, not on YouTube. So anyway, y'all keep on keeping on, and I will see y'all down the road, Lord willing. See y'all later. Bye.